good morning my dear students welcome to the discussion on the subject engineering mechanics under engineering mechanics we are discussing a topic on kinetics of particles under kinetics of particles we are solving problems on d'alembert's principle this is the second solved problem we are discussing under d'alembert's principle now we will enter into the problem the given problem is two bodies weighing 300 newton and 450 newton are hung to the ends of a rope passing over an ideal pulley as shown in figure with what acceleration the heavier body comes down and what is the tension in the rope here two bodies of weight say 300 newton and 450 newton are connected to the two ends of a rope and this rope is passing over an ideal pulley this is the pulley and this is the rope this is 300 newton weight body and this is 450 newton weight body because of the heavy weight the 450 newton body comes down whereas 300 newton body moves up that is the acceleration of the 300 newton body is upward direction whereas 450 newton body's acceleration is downward direction here our objective is to find the value of the acceleration a as well as the tension in the rope t here this is the rope and this is ideal pulley now we will write the data here the weight of the lighter body is equal to 300 newton and weight of the heavier body is equal to 450 newton and a is the acceleration with which the system moves and t is the tension in the rope now we will see what do you mean by ideal pulley the ideal pulley we mean that it is massless and there is no friction between pulley and rope we also assume the rope to be massless irrespective of pulley that is here pulley as well as rope are massless next step is drawing free body diagram for two weights first we will draw free body diagram for 300 newton weight body now we will draw free body diagram for 300 newton body the 300 newton body is connected to the rope so the tension in the rope acts away from the 300 newton body so the tension in the rope is acting vertically upward direction whereas weight of the body acts vertically downward direction and the 300 newton body is moving vertically upward direction so the inertia force acts vertically downward direction here the weight of the body acts vertically downward and tension in the rope acts vertically upward the acceleration of the body is upward direction so the inertia force that is ma is acting vertically downward direction here m is equal to 300 by 9.81 and a is the acceleration now we will consider the d'alembert's principle that is dynamic equilibrium condition so that the summation of the net vertical forces is equal to zero that is sigma f of y is equal to zero here 300 newton force acts vertically downward direction and inertia force that is 300 by 9.81 into a also acts vertically downward direction whereas tension the rope acts vertically upward direction here sigma f of y is equal to zero then t minus 300 by 9.81 into a minus 300 is equal to 0 then t minus 300 by 9.81 into a is equal to 300 this is the equation number 1 then we will move towards drawing free body diagram for heavier weight body that is 450 newton body here the 450 newton weight body moves vertically downward direction so that the tension in the rope acts vertically upward direction the weight of the body acts vertically downward direction because the 450 newton body is moving vertically downward direction the inertia force acts vertically upward direction now we'll draw the free body diagram for 450 newton body here 450 newton body that is weight of the body acts vertically downward direction tension in the rope acts vertically upward direction and the body is moving vertically downward direction so that the inertia force acts 
vertically upward direction. Inertia force is MA. Here M is equal to 450 by 9.81 and 450 by 9.81 into A is the inertia force which acts vertically upward direction. Now we will consider the dynamic equilibrium condition and the summation of the net vertical forces is equal to 0 that is sigma FI is equal to 0. Here we are considering upward forces positive, downward forces negative. Then T plus 450 by 9.81 into A minus 450 is equal to 0. After simplifying this equation, we will get T plus 450 by 9.81 into A is equal to 450. This is the equation number 2. Now, we will subtract equation 2 from e equation 1. By subtracting e equation 2 from 1, we get minus 750 by 9.81 into A is equal to minus 150. Then A is equal to 1.962 meter per second square. That is the acceleration of the heavier body comes down is equal to 1.962 meter per second square. Then we will find the tension in the rope. For that we will substitute the acceleration A value in the equation number 1. That is Substituting acceleration value say 1.962 in the equation 1, we get T minus 300 by 9.81 into 1.962 is equal to 300. After simplifying this, we will get T is equal to 360 Newton. Now we will write the answers for the given problem. Here, the heavier body moves with an acceleration of 1.962 meter per second square and the tension in the rope is equal to 360 Newton. These are the required answers for the given problem. If you have any doubts or queries to write it down below comment section. I will be very happy to answer it. Visit again for more videos on engineering mechanics using the links provided under the description of this video. Keep learning and knowledge sharing. Stay blessed. Thank you.